Hello and welcome. Today is a first for my channel, a collaboration with my very good friend Tamara at Tamara's Timeless Beauty. Together we're going to be reviewing 10 tinted moisturizers perfect for summer lightweight coverage. I emailed Tamara about three years ago when I was considering starting a YouTube channel. She was encouraging, she was exuberant, and she said just do it. So I did. Since then she's become a dear friend and mentor. I know many of you know and love her as much as I do. She is a retired RN and she subscribes to the motto, Age Gratefully, which I absolutely love. Her channel is full of wisdom on makeup, skincare, nutrition. She shares her tiny little home with us and her beautiful gardens, as well as her sweet little dog, Bosley. I'm gonna link her channel down below and her tinted moisturizer video. Definitely, if you haven't already watched that, go over and watch Tamara's video right after you finish watching mine and tell her I said hello. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Cindy. I am a soon to be retired occupational therapist. A few years ago, right before COVID hit, my family moved back to Colorado and I ended up being furloughed from work and had a lot of time on my hands. So I decided to take some advanced courses in aesthetics. I had a cosmetology license here in Colorado years ago and it had expired. So I thought, why not renew it? And I did. I wasn't really quite sure what I would do with it, but I ended up deciding to start a YouTube channel and I'm so glad I did. My channel, Beyond 50 Skin, focuses on mature beauty, skincare, hair care, and a little bit of makeup. I only just started wearing makeup and experimenting with makeup in my 50s, so I'm a complete newbie, but I'm really enjoying learning and sharing what I'm discovering. For reference, I'm 57. I have dry, sensitive, occasionally reactive skin. My coverage preference is either bare skin or a barely there, no makeup makeup look. So tinted moisturizers are my go-to for skin perfecting. In my portion of the collaboration, I'm going to be reviewing one drugstore tinted moisturizer, three mid-range, and one high-end. In each demo, I'm using the exact same skincare routine and a dedicated, untinted SPF 50. Personally, I just don't consider any of these tinted moisturizers, even if they contain sunscreen, a replacement for the daily recommended sunscreen coverage that we need. I will be using a dedicated sunscreen and the exact same skincare routine through each of the demos. I'm going to cover the cost, the availability of shades, the call out ingredients, whether they contain SPF and fragrance, the coverage, the texture, the radiance, and the wearability. And at the very end, I'm going to rate them from my most favorite to my least favorite. The first tinted moisturizer I'm excited to share with you is Rare Beauty's Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. This was released in 2022. It costs $30 an ounce. It does not come in a mini size. The star rating on Sephora was 4.2. It comes in 24 flexible shades and my shade was 16C. 10N was a bit too light. 12C was too pink. 14W was too yellow. So 16C was my closest in-store match. It's not an exact match, but it does work and I might be able to mix two shades for a closer match in the future. It's fragrance free. The call out ingredients are vitamin E, sunflower oil, and several fruit and flower extracts. It does contain SPF with a combination of chemical and physical filters with a fairly low SPF at 20. Rare Beauty says this is a no makeup makeup weightless tinted moisturizer that immediately blurs with glowy to light medium coverage. It hydrates and protects the skin from the sun, which I would argue with at SPF 20. They say it's easy to apply with your fingers and gives a natural radiant finish. As far as the texture and consistency, it's a light liquidy serum formula. It does blur imperfections beautifully. The first layer goes on fairly light, but you can build it to a medium coverage. It has a natural radiant finish. It's non-sticky. It's not dewy. It's not overly glowy once it dries down. And it dried down fairly quickly on my skin to about a semi-matte finish. This might vary depending on your skin type, but I didn't feel the need to powder it down. And the longevity or wear time was about six hours, which is about the average for a tinted moisturizer. What I liked most about this formula is its skin perfecting and light blurring ability. Next is my drugstore find. Number seven's Hydra Luminous Aqua Release Skin Perfector. That is a mouthful. Costs $10.99 an ounce at Target and $14.99 an ounce on the number seven website. It doesn't come in a mini. The star rating is 3.7 at Target, 
and 4.1 on Amazon. It comes in six shades, which is fairly limited, but interestingly enough, they employed a technology that analyzed 1.9 million skin tones for a true match, designed to blend into a range of shades. My shade was light with a neutral undertone. For me, it was fairly easy to find a good match considering the limited range of shades. There's no fragrance, the call-out ingredients are glycerin, which is a skin-identical ingredient, panthenol, which is soothing, ceramides, which help prevent transepidermal water loss, pro-vitamin B5 attracts and holds water, and ginseng, which is an antioxidant. The one ingredient I do have a concern about is the alcohol DNAT, which is a fairly drying ingredient. I didn't have an issue with this when I applied it, but this can be a known irritant, especially if you have the sensitivity to it. It doesn't have SPF. Company says... The Aqua Release Moisture Beads provide an ultra lightweight, ultra hydrating coverage for eight hours. The texture of this was really creamy. It was buildable to only a light coverage. The radiance is slight when applying, but dries down to a fairly dewy finish. I would say it's dewy and moisturizing once it dries down. The longevity time was fairly typical, about six or eight hours. I agree with the ultra hydrating, but not the ultra light. I felt like the creamy consistency was very moisturizing, but it's not ultra light. I would definitely purchase this again, given the shade match was so compatible to my skin tone and it's super hydrating. When I was searching for tinted moisturizers to share on this video, I was really excited to find the Laura Mercier Light Revealer in Cameo. I have worn the Laura Mercier regular tinted moisturizer in Cameo before and really enjoyed it, but this looked like it would be even better on my really dry skin. So I'm very excited to share this one with you as well. They also came out with a matte version of their tinted moisturizer. The Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Light Revealer costs $31 an ounce. There's no mini size at this point, but you occasionally can get a travel size that comes with purchase. 4.2 is the star rating at Sephora and 4.3 is the star rating at Ulta. It comes in 14 shades and my shade is Cameo. It was really easy for me to find a shade match. It does not contain fragrance. The call out ingredients are vitamin C, vitamin E, which are antioxidants that help fight free radicals and protect the skin from environmental aggressors. The vitamin C formulation in this is tetrahexyl decal ascorbate, which is an oil-soluble vitamin C and very gentle on the skin. It also contains glycerin and French algae. I couldn't find a lot of information about the French algae, but algae in general is just a nice moisturizing ingredient, and the company says that it helps improve the look of the skin's natural radiance. It does contain sunscreen. It's a chemical sunscreen at SPF 25. The company says this is a no makeup makeup infused with luminosity, complexion boosting pearl blends developed for each shade level. It has ultra sheer flexible coverage. This water break cream boosts skin's natural radiance. The hydration is powered by French algae paired with a shade specific luminescent pearls that reveal healthy skin and exudes a glow that is truly your own. It creates a smoother look, optimizing skin's ability to look more luminous. In my observation, this is kind of a gel cream consistency. It's definitely buildable to kind of an ultra sheer with one layer to very light coverage. The radiance is very radiant versus dewy. I wouldn't say this is particularly dewy, but it gives that kind of dewy radiant look because of all the pearlescent tints. The dry down is fairly typical. It doesn't ever completely dry down on my skin, but I don't feel the need to powder it. If you wanted less radiance, you could put a translucent powder. I would recommend the Hourglass Ambient Light Powder, but otherwise it gives kind of a natural dewy look with great radiance. The longevity and wear time was about eight hours. Would I buy it again? Yes, because I think it's beautiful and flattering for an evening look, and it's slightly radiant for a daytime look, but I can always powder it down. But it would be helpful for you to see the light revealer and how radiant it is compared to the regular tinted moisturizer. So I did a quick side by side. As you can see, the light revealer is more radiant and this radiance definitely lasts throughout the day. Next is a classic tinted moisturizer, but I have never tried it before. It's one of the top selling tinted moisturizers in all of the US. It's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel. Now, if you see this on the shelves, you might see it under a different name, but I've checked the ingredient decks and they are identical. So I assume they changed the name because the new name includes hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid is a very popular ingredient right now. So if you see the Bare Minerals Tinted Moisturizer with hyaluronic acid, you'll know you're getting the exact same tinted moisturizer just with a name change. 
Air Minerals Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream or Tinted Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid costs $31 an ounce. It does come in a mini size. The star rating on Sephora is 4.0 and 4.4 at Ulta. It comes in 20 different shades and my shade was opal. Super easy for me to find a shade match. It does not contain fragrance. Some of the call out ingredients are glass ward extract, which is helpful for barrier function, skin brightening, and also functions as an antioxidant. The skin identical ingredients are squalane, glycerin, and sodium hyaluronate, also known as hyaluronic acid. It also contains some plant extracts for skin soothing. It does have SPF and an SPF of 30. It's a mineral SPF, but I wanna point out that it's titanium dioxide filter only, which doesn't cover the longer UVA rays. And remember, SPF is only an indicator of the time your skin takes to burn, not an indicator of potentially more damaging UV exposure. And it also says to reapply every two hours, which doesn't really seem realistic for a tinted moisturizer. The company states this is the number one tinted moisturizer in the US. It's a three-in-one product, a moisturizer, a skin tint, and an SPF with hyaluronic acid to boost hydration for a dewy, healthy-looking glow. The texture is super creamy. It definitely builds from a sheer to medium coverage, and they recommend for medium coverage to apply your extra layers with a brush to really build up coverage to medium. Otherwise, you're going to get a more sheer coverage. The radiance is slightly dewy, slightly radiant when I first apply it, and I can see why this is an all-around fave for every skin type. It completely dries down on my dry skin. It's not super dewy and it's not super radiant. It's just sort of lightly radiant. And I would say it kind of dries down to a semi matte on my skin. There is actually a new matte formula if you have oily skin, which you may prefer. The longevity is about six hours. I didn't quite get eight hours of wear. In my opinion, this dries down a little bit too much for my dry skin. And I would apply a heavier moisturizer than I did this morning. I have a lightweight gel moisturizer that I used in my skincare routine and I probably would use a cream-based moisturizer in the future to get a longer more moisturizing effect throughout the day. Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator is a classic. I wanted to review the new version that they have out, the Juicy Tinted Moisturizer by Tarte, but I could not find a shade match. The first and the lightest color is way too yellow on my skin and the next shade up is just way too dark. There was no way for me even to mix two shades to get a match, but I have heard it's beautiful, it's dewy, and actually surpasses the amount of dewiness that the tinted hydrator does. But I had to settle for the tinted hydrator. I hadn't tried this before, so I was really excited to try and review it for you. But if you can find a shade match with the new Juicy by Tarte, I would recommend trying that. Like I said, for my Fitzpatrick 2 sort of neutral skin tone, they just didn't have one that had enough peach tones in it. It just starts out a little bit too yellow. So if you find that, please let me know. I'm very excited to see what you think about the new release from Tarte. The Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator costs $30 an ounce. It does come in many sizes. It has a star rating of four on the Sephora website. It comes in 20 different shades in the regular size and six different shades in the mini size. My shade was 13N Fair Light Neutral. Now the ease of finding a shade for me, it was a little tricky. This entire line runs a little warm. It's not an exact shade match for me, but the formula is flexible enough that it works. There's no fragrance. The call out ingredients are in the name. The Maracuja oil firms, brightens, and smooths the skin. Hyaluronic acid provides moisture, firmness, and suppleness. Vegan collagen complex hydrates and firms. The turmeric root extract is an antioxidant. It's skin soothing. It also reduces the appearance of redness. And aloe provides soothing, healing, and slightly antiseptic properties. There's no SPF in this formula. Tarte says this is a skin-loving, super fruit-infused tinted moisturizer that delivers 12 hours of hydration and wear. It's naturally radiant finish that looks and feels like skin. It's light but buildable and helps minimize the appearance of imperfections. And I would agree with all of that. It didn't quite last 12 hours, but it definitely lasted about eight. The texture and consistency is creamy. It's really a lot more flexible than the Bare Minerals, even though I didn't have an exact shade match. The consistency and formula was flexible enough that I got it to work. It is buildable, but they recommend using a primer if you plan to build it to a medium coverage. I just applied it with my fingers and was able to get a nice light coverage. It's definitely radiant and it's dewy. It's kind of a perfect balance between radiance and dewiness. It dried down fairly quickly, but retained the dewy radiance. The longevity for me personally was about eight hours, which is typical of a tinted moisturizer. What 
I really found interesting when looking for tinted moisturizers for this video is the range of shades that actually worked with my skin tone, all the way from the darker maracuja with yellow undertones to the lighter rare beauty with pink undertones. The flexibility of a tinted moisturizer makes it a lot easier to find a match. I also encourage you, if you can, to go into the store. I was able to go into Sephora. They shade matched me with all of these. They also sent me home with samples, which I really appreciated. They also took back a shade match that they did for me that just didn't work. So if you're looking for a fantastic place to buy your tinted moisturizers, like I said, I highly recommend Sephora. And the number seven I got at Target. Of course, we can't sample them there and the shade range is really limited, so that was just pure luck. But I think with tinted moisturizers, there's a bit more flexibility than there are with foundations. In ranking these from one to five, I'm completely shocked. My number five pick and my number one pick are not what I expected. In fact, they're reversed. So in at number five is the classic Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. And the reason this is number five is we are ranking these as tinted moisturizers. And for me and my dry skin, by the end of six to eight hours, this was kind of matte and a little bit flaky. It didn't wear very well on my skin because I guess I have really, really dry skin. So this came in for me at number five. Number four is the Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. The reason this is number four is not that it wasn't hydrating, it's that I couldn't quite get the shade match that I wanted. It's a little bit too dark and I couldn't mix two to get really the right shade. So that's why this is number four. The second thing is, and probably why I would not repurchase it, is for me personally, this gives too much coverage for tinted moisturizer. At number three is the Rare Beauty. This is a beautiful tinted moisturizer. It gives just a nice light dewy finish. It's, I would say, medium moisturizing on my very dry skin. And I would definitely pick this up again. And I might get it in the next shade a little bit darker for the summertime. This is perfect for me for winter, but I think I might need the next shade for the summer. At number two is the Laura Mercier. It was completely moisturizing. I love the radiance on it. It is radiant. And at number one is number seven, the Hydra Luminous. I was shocked that this was my absolute favorite. It was the most moisturizing throughout the entire day. I felt, still felt my skin was dewy after six or eight hours. It still looked really nice. I mean, it wore in the traditional places like all tinted moisturizers do. It gave me the perfect amount of coverage. This was a little bit light. This gave me great radiance, but this was just the happy medium of all five. I absolutely love this very inexpensive tinted moisturizer and highly recommend it. The only drawback is the limited number of shades. Of course, it's a drugstore moisturizer, so the number of shades are quite limited, but you might try the Laura Mercier if you really love radiance or the Rare Beauty if you want just that nice, perfecting, skin blurring coverage. So, Thanks very much for watching and thank you so much to Tamara for inviting me on this collaboration. I had so much fun doing this. And if you haven't seen Tamara's video, definitely race over there and watch her video. Thanks very much for watching and wishing you all a skintastic day.